Hello, 3-1-E, and welcome to BSE 111 class. I am Joanna Marie Costante, your teacher for today. Our discussion is for the continuation of the stages of ESP research. I am assigned to discuss the last stages of ESP, but before that, let us recall the first four stages. ESP has witnessed five main phases of development, which are the register analysis, rhetorical analysis or discourse analysis, target situational analysis, skilled-centered approach and learning-centered approach, and genre analysis. The last stages are the learning-centered approach and genre analysis. Hutchinson and Walters of 1987. Book English for specific purposes. A learning-centered approach ushered in what they thought would be a new approach to ESP. Essentially, this amounted to a reinstatement of the psychological educational basis of ESP. That is to say, the primacy of methodology of learning processes rather than the linguistic basis. According to these authors, all the approaches mentioned so far were fundamentally flawed in that they were all based on description of language use whether this description is of surface form, as in the case of register analysis, or of underlying processes, as the skills and strategies approach. The, the concern in each case is with describing what people do with language. Their concern is different. According to this phase, the concern is not with language use, but rather with language learning. For, for a significant ESP approach must be based on an understanding of the processes of language learning. Whereas, a language-centered approach says, this is the nature of target situation performance that will determine the ESP course. And skilled-centered approach says that is not enough. We must look beyond the target performance data to discover what processes enable someone to perform. Those processes will determine the ESP course a learning-centered approach says that is not enough either. We must look beyond the competence that enables someone to perform. What we really want to discover is not the confidence itself, but how someone acquires that confidence. Hutchinson and Waters argue that the course design process should be more dynamic and interactive. In, a par in particular factors concerned with learning must be brought into play and at all stages of the design processes. This approach to course and materials design has received with widest circulation in the papers and materials of Hutchinson and Waters of 1981, 1982, 1987 and more recently, Waters and Waters of 1992. ESP teaching and learning was for many years limited to training special lexicon and translating numerous texts. Such methods did not reflect student interest and resulted in a low learning motivation and poor participation. Learner-centered approach provides opportunities for students to practice, 
critical and creative thinking, solving problems, and making decisions. Also, encourage students to demonstrate ownership of their ideas and to reflect on and monitor their thinking as they make decisions and take actions. Mm, learning experience should be adjusted as required to meet the abilities, needs, and interests of individuals and group of students. ESP learner-centered um, learner -centered instruction starts with needs analysis of the students, which is followed by formulation of aims and objectives, content, selection of teaching materials, assessment, and evaluation. We have to keep in mind that the main goal of an ESP is to help students understand and communicate in any situation, and particularly in the working environment or a future one. Following their objectives, learner, learners rather should be involved to acquire language level, which enables them to learn and use specialized vocabulary required in a given occupation. And that's all for today. Thank you.